Hi, is this is this uh, Christian Weston Chandler? Yes, this is Christian. May I help you? Hi, Chris. Um, this is Alec Benson Leary. Is it o is it okay if we talk? Oh yes, uh, sure. Yes. So, okay. Uh, Good. Well, uh, there's a couple things I wanted to talk to you about tonight. Um, first of all, uh, well, I understand you've got uh, you've got a problem with the, the ads that are on Wikipedia. Can you can you tell me a little bit more about uh, I, I kind of want to have, you know, get a compromise and, and, and settle this because cause I don't, I don't want okay. uh, anybody to be angry. Okay, well, um, yeah, I'll let you have your ads on the Wikipedia, but don't make them too big and uh, leave them in the sidebar. Okay. Um, I, don't want, I, don't want, I do not want them, it, I do not want them covering over the introductory box or any, or anything else where I had to scroll down even to edit the pages or even to log in. Okay. Um, uh, so, well, yeah, I so understand. Again, just that, okay, cool. I so understand. Just yeah. All um, your ads on the sidebar. Yeah. Yeah. My friend Mao, he, um, you know, he, he actually makes the ads for me. I, I didn't make them myself, but um, I can try to talk to him about that, um, okay. about the size. Uh, as for right. like where on the Wikipedia they are, um, I don't I don't know if Mal controls that. Or not. I don't think he does. I think I'm not sure what controls like where the ad space goes. You know, on uh, on the website itself. I, I I I mean, I'll talk to Mal about it, but I'm not sure if he controls that either. Yeah. Like yeah, okay. like I could talk to him. So, um, but you yeah. might want to talk to your your web manager or whatever because. Because they set up yeah. where the ad space goes, you know. Yeah, and yeah. also uh, just um, just uh, one more concern of mine. Upon uh, yeah, I've uh, read your pages on the uh, Asperger Chief yeah. comic, but the and the uh, recent pages. What do you think? Mm -hmm. you, what do you think? You, what do you think you're parodying? Happy Tree Friends. Um, what Happy Tree Friends? What's that? It's supposed to be like a happy TBY show, but it's actually it's actually adult and dark humor because they go into cut slashing all the cute characters up and uh, it's and all the blood and gore and everything. I guess they make them come make, they make them come back to life unharmed the very next episode. Just uh, slice them but slice and dice them up again. Oh, um, I've I've never actually heard of that series. Um, is that uh, yeah, what is, yeah, is that on Cartoon Network or? No, you can look it up on Netflix. For, oh. for that's a good place. But anyway, yeah, blood and gore. Yeah, that's not a good way to go, especially when you kill even even considerable facsimiles of my own characters in that sense and in that detail. Well, you know, um, I actually I got a lot of uh, actually positive response from my fans when I did that um, because you know some of my yeah, fans. Yeah. Have, some of yeah, my fans to me. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, encourage the fans that were originally my fans to come back to me. I would appreciate uh, that. Well, I, I mean, you, you know, I, 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 I tell my fans about you all the time, Chris, because you know, like, like I've told you in, in a lot of the letters I've written to you, you were a big in, inspiration for me. But, um, you know, I. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't really. I don't really know what to say to you know to my fans as far as that goes. I mean, they they uh, love my comic. I, I, yeah. I they love. I get a lot of fan mail about it. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. How about this? Uh, yeah. Just to make it equal, um, put an advertisement for the Wikipedia on the on on the Astropedia about as much as the uh, Astropedia ads for on my Wikipedia. Um, well, uh, yeah, we might be able to work something out, you know, uh, you'd probably right, want to, you'd probably right, want to contact Mal because he's my manager. He, he does all the, you know, the grunt work on Asperpedia. Um, I, I'm not even sure like what, you know, how selling the ad space works, but I'm sure he'd be willing to sell you some ad space on Asperpedia. We could definitely try to work something like that out. Yeah. So, so. all right, well. All right. Well, Mal and I can talk through email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can. I mean, like I like I said, I don't know the details, but I know AdSpace is up for purchase. So. Yeah.
All right. All right, well, then we got settled on at least uh, at least on your ads on my Wikipedia. And, uh, yeah, he's up on the – and uh, not so much blood and gore. And uh, try to bring my fans let my, to dread my, redirect my fans back to me. Um, well, uh, you, you know, I, I'm tr trying to think of a, a good way to say this, but you know, it, it, we are we are in kind of a like a, like a friendly competition, if you will. I mean, we're you know we're we're, we're both artists, kind of. I, mean, it, it, uh, I don't. Yeah. I, don't yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really make sense for an artist to say to his fans, "Hey." Hey guys, don't uh, don't follow me anymore. Go back to you know this other artist. I mean, I mean, would would you do that to, for your fans? Would you say, hey hey fans, go go talk to Alec or go watch Alec's cartoon or anyone else's cartoon? Really? I mean, no, you want you want the fans to follow you, right? Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, um. Uh, since okay, well, since you and I are on, are on okay, agreeing, mutual, uh, uh, okay, talking tones right now. How mm -hmm. about I? Uh, how about I just? Uh, re how about I just uh, remove all the bad talk I have I have against you, and then start and then start saying that uh, that you're that you're okay. Uh, your 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 co your uh, comics are okay. That and uh, you know. I, you know, but still saying like you know, I would appreciate if you would say being my fans. But you know, if you want to go look at the, uh, go go look at his work, and that's fine. I can't stop you there. But you know, well, you know, well, actually, I'm I'm, I'm, I, I, I I'm glad you're that you're, you're I'm glad that you're bringing this up because um, uh, you like you say we're on friendly terms right now, and I'd like to keep it that way because you know you're I okay. I, I I got my start because of you. Um, but to be to be honest, I want to be honest and frank um, with you. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You made a couple of videos, and I don't I don't watch all your videos, but I I do try to keep up. I mean, I spend a lot of time drawing the comics, so I, I don't have a lot of time to you know watch videos anymore. But I saw a couple of videos where you um, you actually threatened me with uh, um, you know, physical okay, harm. Well, um. Yeah. Okay. Well. And yeah, that make more, me I, I was I, okay. Well, I was more angry back then because it was an immediate uh, response. But that uh, things have settled down and are talking okay. Well, I, I'll, I make can, a, I'll make I'll make I can make a new video just saying like you know I apologize for those threats and uh, things are okay here. Okay, and and about uh, you um, also the video where you. Uh, you wanted your your dog to to eat me or something like that. You your, uh, your dog to eat my soul. I mean that. Uh, I, it, it, like yeah. the death threats were kind of scary to begin with, but that that was just a scary. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. I'm, okay. Yeah. Well, and, and, okay. Well, and, I'll take I'll, I'll take that back as well. I'm sorry. Okay. And and um that that kind of leads me into another point. Um, you you're under the impression that um that I was. That I was besmirching your dog in my comic, and I'm not really sure what you mean by that. Well, uh, you're, could you explain that, to me? That, okay, well, the villain, the dog, the yeah, dog in your comic, it, it, looks similar to, it looks similar to my dog, especially around the green neckerchief and the other parts that are green on that dog. Well, I mean, you know, and Chris, the, and the just, shape of the dog just looks like my dog. Well, it's just a, a, you know, a lot of dogs look like that, Chris. I mean, a lot of it, it, it's, okay. it's just a neckerchief. I mean, you know, it's just a little flare for the dog. That doesn't mean yeah. it's your dog, you know. Yeah. I think, okay. I think honestly, you kind of make that uh, assumption with a lot of my characters because it seems like you think that um, a lot of my characters were, you know, like ripping off your characters or, or even you yourself because you've said that after yeah. you – was yeah, Buddha, yeah, Buddha belly and the man boobs and the glasses. Well, yeah. I mean, Chris, you know. Oh, and the sweetheart Astrid George thing a, and the future daughter. Well, I mean, Astrid is not a parody, Chris. I mean, he's an original creation. Okay. Like. Uh, okay. You know, you know, just because he has you know the glasses and the Buddha belly and the and, and the the man boobs and and the goatee, you know, that doesn't make him a parody of you. I mean, that's. Yeah. And, and besides, you said you had a past 